welcome back to my channel today I've partnered up with sugar cosmetics to show you this look right here it's like a classic winged liner with red lips and it's perfect to wear nowhere right now but we're doing it you can wear it for your virtual date maybe it's a really nice date night look as well so yeah if you want to know how I achieved this then please keep on watching also, there is a giveaway along with this video and if you wish to participate, then just watch till the end of the video and in the end, I'll be mentioning all the rules and the description will also contain the rules. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're starting off with is sanitizing our hands and this is the thing that you should be doing even before touching your face because it is especially important right now. Next, we're going to move on to our primer and I'm using the Face Forward Primer Stick by Sugar and I'm going to put it all over my face. This just blurs out all the pores and all the imperfections in your skin and the foundation goes on so, so smoothly. I'm just using my hands to disperse the product so that it gets into all the nukes and crannies. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Sugar Drop the Base foundation and I'm going to shake it really, really well because it separates. It has oils in it which separate. So you need to do this first before you use it or else the foundation is going to be a mess. Now I'm going to drop it like a serum and I'm just going to blend everything out with a beauty blender. My shade is 32 Cortado and you can see how nicely this blends it blends like a dream and it has a lot of coverage and it also has a really nice and luminous skin like finish the only thing is that the shade does not match me it is a little too yellow but we can work with that for concealer i'm going to use two shades the first one i'm using is 40 breve or breve and this i'm going to put on the inner and outer corners of my under eyes this is going to be used as a correcting concealer so it's going to cancel out any of the darkness this is a little darker than my actual skin tone now i'm going to use one that is a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone this is in the shade 15 cappuccino and i'm going to put it in the middle this is going to act as our brightening concealer i'm also putting it on the other high points of my face in order to brighten it and bring light to that area. After that I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and just start blending it out. You can see in real time how easily this concealer blends out. It is one of the best concealers that I've ever used and the combination of these two shades just makes the perfect shade for me. It just it's so good and your under eyes look so flawless after using it I make sure to go over my eyes a little bit later than the rest of the face because I want the concealer under there to sit for some time that way it gets more pigment which provides more full coverage I like to go over with the butt of the beauty blender just over everything so that everything seems more seamless and it looks much more blended out now I'm going to use the loose powder by Sugar and this is in the shade 15 Cappuccino. I'm going to first take out all the creases from my eyes because the last thing you want is to set those creases in. That's like the worst mistake ever. So I'm going to take it on my beauty blender and just put the loose powder under my eyes. I'm not baking or anything but just placing it and blending it in. Now I'm also going to make a blowfish like face so that that area is also not creasing and I'm going to set it. Putting a little bit over my brows so that our brow products can go in more seamlessly. So for brows I'm going to use the Arch Arrival Brow Definer in the shade Felix Onyx and first I'm just brushing out the brows so that they don't look very Bushman <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the actual pencil side of it and fill in my brows very very lightly I just like to give feather like strokes all over the brows because it's actually very defined so I don't like to define it more now for eyeshadow I'm gonna first go in with the quads I'll mention the names in the description box below I'm taking this brown transition type of shade this is a very very pretty matte shade and I'm placing it all over my lids 
Then I'm taking the other eyeshadow palette. This is in the shade Warrior. And I'm taking that bone shade as a transition and blending all the harsh edges out. Then I'm going to take this dark brown shade and add it to the outer third of my eyelids and also a little bit on my crease so that our look has a little bit of dimension. We're not creating anything crazy and I want to leave it like the matte eyes that it is. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with a little bit of black eyeshadow on a pencil brush. This will just help to give it a smoky look. And again, I'm going to blend it out with that same brown shadow that we used. After that, I'm going to use the waterproof eyeliner by Sugar and I'm going to create a really, really fierce wing. It's gonna be very fierce. The only problem that I find with this eyeliner is that like any other felt tip, the liner goes away from the tip of it. I'm also extending that liner onto the inner corners of my eyes to just give it a more foxy look and elongate my eyes and after that I'm just gonna tight line them to finish the look. For mascara I'm gonna go in with the Lash Mob Limitless Mascara. This is supposed to be volumizing and it doesn't give like a crazy volume but it does give a lot of volume which is perfect for an everyday mascara plus it does not feel heavy at all on your eyelashes which is the best part moving back to the face i'm gonna use the sugar contour palette and i'm just putting it all over my cheekbones i'm just carving them out after that i'm just gonna put it all over my forehead and i'm just going very very gently so that we don't have any harsh lines on our face also contouring my jawline a little bit so that we have a more defined jawline also lately i've been enjoying nose contouring a little too much you can definitely skip this part out Now I'm going to go over with that butt of the beauty blender just so that everything looks seamless and I do this after every step so that the base looks flawless and there are no harsh edges anywhere. Now I'm going to move on to blush and I'm using the mini blush in the shade Mauve Marvel. This is one of my favorite shades of blush and the sugar blushes are so pigmented like you only need a tiny bit and you can still go overboard like I did. So Again, I'm going in with my beauty blender to just tone everything down so that it doesn't overwhelm the look. After that, for highlighter, I'm also going in with the mini highlighter. I'll mention the shade down below. I'm putting it on the high points of my cheeks, my chin, as well as my cupid's bow. Also going to put a little bit on my nose. I really love doing this. It just makes the nose look so much better. And I'm also adding a little bit on my forehead. To complete the look, I'm using the Sugar Smudge Me Not Liquid Lipstick in the shade Modern Auburn. And taking it on a lip liner brush, I'm going to very, very gently just line my lips. I'm not going overboard, neither am I going under the lines. I'm just following my natural lip shape and making it a little more pouty that's it nothing else now i'm just gonna add the lipstick and make sure you take your time while doing this because if you mess up dark dark lipsticks then it is very very difficult to manage it and make sure your base isn't ruined so yeah just take your time and with red lipsticks, it is absolutely essential that you wear it perfectly because it can make or break the look. So yeah, this is the finished look. Now for the reveal. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now let's come to the fun part which is the giveaway. So basically I have partnered up with Sugar Cosmetics to bring you a giveaway where there will be three winners and they can each win a hamper with sugar goodies. So all you have to do is follow these three rules so that your entry is counted. If you don't follow all the three rules then your entry will not be counted and you'll be disqualified. 
Also, the giveaway ends on 4th and you have to follow Sugar Cosmetics on their Instagram story to know the winners. So now let's go over the rules. The first thing that you need to do is like and share this video. The second thing is you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Sugar Cosmetics' YouTube channel. I'll be mentioning the handle in the description box below. Don't forget to check it out. For the third rule, comment down below which is your favorite sugar product. It can be any that I used in the video or anything you even want to try out or maybe which you have used and that's your favorite one. So comment that down below along with the answer to this question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you going to recommend Sugar Cosmetics to a friend? Just tell me the number and yeah, that's it. All you have to do is just comment down below. If, if you don't, I'll not know whether you've entered or not. The three lucky winners of the giveaway will be announced on 4th May on the Instagram stories of Sugar. So make sure to follow them on Instagram as well. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved how the whole look turned out. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!